Hi everyone, this is Pam with Heart of Texas. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the hinge strips to the five page photo flip. You need to cut your strips into one inch by 12 inch sections. I just use one page of 12 by 12 cardstock. And then you're going to cut those strips. You'll need, I think, two strips. You'll have plenty left. Cut them in to uh, score them at one half inch and then you're going to apply score tape to the front and back sides of the of the structure strip but not along the score line you can see that the score line is left open I use 3 8 inch and 1 4 inch score tape to do that we're going to start at the back with the longest flip page which is page number five and you're going to peel off the, t the score tape and apply one hinge to the top back of the fifth page. You want to line it up so that it is at the very top of the page and with the sticky side down on the score tape you just removed at the top of the page but not so that the black hinge goes over the chipboard part. Apply that and you want to burnish it well. On this, uh, I didn't cut my strips short enough. Instead of five and seven eighths, I cut it at six and I went back later and cut them all off. I think that's a mistake. Just cut them to five and seven eighths and it's easier for you to handle them or for me to handle them because it was a pain to cut them all off. So now that you have it attached to the front of page five, you're going to remove the tape that's on the top side now and you're going to apply it to the back of page four. And you're going to continue this process through the entire five sheets. The only one that doesn't have any on the top is going to be your first and shortest page and we're going to make a cover for that once we get all the embellishment and decorating done. So you want to press that down well and you're going to burnish. You'll go back and burnish it again really well. Now if you've cut your strips too long like I did, now's the time to cut that first one off and continue all the way through. Now we're on to page four almost and you're going to repeat the process. You're going to peel your score tape off of the back and attach it down carefully burnish it well and then peel it off of your top and you're going to apply page 3 to the top of that score tape, to the top of that hinge and you want to line it up again carefully stick it down, making sure that your edges are even, top and sides, and burnish it well. We're going to take the third sheet of hinge, piece of hinge and attach it to page three on the top front at the edge top edge and making sure they all line up. By the time you do the first five you'll be a pro at the second five so I just showed you how to do one side. Remove your tape on the top of the hinge and apply page two same thing as you can see I didn't cut my overage of that one side off and it was a real pain to cut off so do it as you go or better yet measure to five and seven eighths uh, for your your hinge hinge strips and again we're going to apply the score tape in the hinge to this is page to the top of page two and 
nice and even and burnish it. I'm going to remove the tape. It's real important to put a lot of score tape on like I did. You want to cover the whole hinge so that, that way it'll get a good attachment. And make sure you put that the top page on the right way. I always try to put it on so that it doesn't match up, but just make sure you have it turned the right way, the 5 and 7 eighths way. Put it down and burnish it well. So you're going to cut strips that are going to be 1 inch by 12 inch and then you're going to score them at a half an inch down the center and apply your score tape. Then cut them into 5 and 7 eighths inch strips or hinges to go onto each of the of the five pages. The front page will have a cover over it that we'll use after we've applied the paper. So that's how you do it. I hope you enjoy it and have a good day.